Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl T. And I am here to do a swatching and a little coloring with these touch alcohol markers. I was contacted by one of the stores on Amazon and it's called, I think, YY or Weiwei. And they asked if they could send me these markers to uh, share with you guys on my channel. And I said, why not? Uh, these are the Touch 80 uh, markers. Comes in this case. It's a standard case here. And um, these are... These are, I guess, considered budget-friendly markers for those people who can't spend a lot of money on Copics and, and other brands like that. Uh, there are budget-friendly markers on Amazon. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, they, uh, Many stores, <laughs> I want to say this, many stores because I was online uh, looking at pricing and things. So there are many stores that actually sell these touch markers or a couple of them actually and the prices range anywhere from I think I saw $15 to roughly $19 um, so definitely under $20 for these pencils I mean for these markers um, and so you get 80 markers there's a nice range of colors as you see here uh, the caps are colored at the end and they have the color names on them on both ends you can see here okay let me move these out of the way so you guys can see um the the marker is also labeled with whether it's broad or the fine tip and the name of the marker which is touch i cannot find what that means <laughs> Um, so you have your broad chisel, and then you have your fine tip, okay? The barrel is black. Um, now, I looked at user ratings because I'm always interested to know, like, what do other people um, score these? So there are several uh, different ratings on the ones that I saw. They range anywhere from 4.1 stars to uh, 4.5 stars on Amazon for these markers. So we're going to go ahead and swatch them. Let me move this out of the way and we'll get started. Now you all know me. I have my own swatch book. <laughs> this did not come with a, sw a swatch card at all. And these are kind of loose in the bag. They don't, they're not in a peg tray or anything so uh bear with me here <laughs> i might speed through some of this uh but yes we are going to go ahead and swatch these i've already created the swatch sheet for these and i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see better all right so i'm going to swatch the first uh, probably the first six just to tell you if they're juicy um, and things like that and then I will swatch the remaining 80 of them and um, move on to telling you how I feel about feel about them and then we'll go ahead and color a little bit with those markers all right so we're gonna start with number one wine red I'm smelling these. Um, I don't know if I'm smelling plastic, the plastic, in, or if I'm smelling the actual marker. They don't se seem to have a really strong smell like a Sharpie at all, which is good because some people cannot take that whatsoever. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the swatching. Ooh, that's a deep, beautiful deep color. Very juicy, okay? Next we're gonna do rose red. Yeah, these are pretty juicy. Um, sometimes with budget friendly, they are juicy and then you use them uh, a little bit too much and they dry out. So hopefully these are not that way. Hopefully we get a lot of coloring 
with these. Next, I'm going with uh, Vivid Pink. Mm, it's more like a, to me, like a cherry red. It's close to the cherry pink. All right, next we're gonna go with Coral Red. Vermilion. Ooh, I like that one. Nice fall color. Geranium. Nice. I like that. Nice fall color as well. All right, and here is where I will speed up the video. So enjoy the music.
finished swatching all 80 of them. And as you can see, there's a nice range and variety of colors. Um, some of them more juicier than others, like the blues. Um, this blue wasn't too juicy. You can kind of tell in the back, the ones that look more saturated than the others. Um, nice range of brown. I like, I like that a lot. Then we have fluorescent. I don't, these don't seem fluorescent to me. Um, maybe the yellow, but not the orange or pink. Um, then we have some skin tone colors here. We have pink, light orange, and then we get into some uh, like pastel colors here. They gave us some pastels, and they have this really beautiful pink. I love that one so much. <laughs> then we have a nice range of grays from blue gray, cool gray, to warm gray. So I would say yes, this is a nice range of colors. Um, I did notice that some of the tips when I was coloring or trying to swatch were actually poked, you can't see now because I had to press them in, were kind of sticking out to where you could actually see the indention on the side of the, of the tip. And when I went to swatch, I pressed it in. So I'm not sure if that's a quality con uh, control issue or it was just during shipping, they you know get moved around a lot. So the tips, since they're probably not pressed uh, squarely or sharply in there, or the tips are just not pushed all the way in at the time that they were manufacturing these. But I did notice that once it was in there, you couldn't pull it out. So that's the only one thing I could say about those um, is the way that the tips were coming, like they were not all the way pressed into the pen. So yeah, some nice colors. And so now I'm going to do a little coloring with them. And let me move this out of the way and we'll get started with that. All right, so I'll be coloring out of Cozy Routine, which is my first and only a cute and cozy coloring book that was sent to me by a publisher, Kiki's Coloring. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do a page in here, a quick page, um, using the markers. So I hope that y'all enjoy.
have finished this cute little page uh, with what I'm going to use only markers uh, with. I will probably go back in um, later and do the background with some clouds and color in this uh, bottom here. Not sure with what yet. And probably do a little bit more embellishing and adding some details with white gel pen on this page. But I just wanted to only use the markers on this page. Um, I can say that for the purpose of coloring in adult coloring books, these mark these markers are decent. Okay, they're budget friendly, so these are not artist grade um, markers. Nothing you want to do commission work with. Um, but definitely, I think that these are good to have if you're just going to be coloring like this in your coloring books. Um, even it would be a nice set to give to children who want to color and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg <laughs> on a bunch of markers. So that's all that I have. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, y'all, take care.